We're going to close off section one with a discussion on fungus-like protists. So again, we have uh, protozoan, which are animal-like. We have algae, which are plant-like. And here we have our fungus-like protists. Um, why? Well, before we get into this, we got to talk a little bit about fungus because our book does do the fungus section after this. Uh, so I'm assuming you knew a bit about plants. I'm assuming you knew a bit about animals before we talked about those ones, but I'm not so sure you know much about fungus. So just to keep things in mind, um, fungus will have cell walls, so they will have a rigid structure that helps support them and their shape. Uh, keep in mind, all fungus are going to be heterotrophs. They are going to have to go out and find their uh, food. A lot of times they do this through where their spores land. Um, basically when they reproduce they shoot a bunch of spores in the air and each spore will land somewhere hoping that um, it is a suitable place where it can start growing into and absorbing and breaking it down. So keep in mind they are heterotrophs. They do not make their own food. Uh, they do not necessarily need sunlight and a lot of times you do find mushrooms in dark damp places like caves. Um, or even in like the shady parts of your yard or something. That's where they'll grow. Uh, so keep, keep in mind, uh, these are fungus and our fungus like protists are going to be very similar. So we are going to have them as heterotrophs and probably use spores to reproduce. Uh, we have three types of fungus like protists. Some of them you might have seen while you venture around the world. Some of them, maybe not. Uh, our first is slime molds. That's these guys up here. Uh, our water molds, which are down here, I see them a lot on the rivers and stuff. If you pay attention on the rivers, you can see dead fish with these things kind of growing off of it. Um, and you also have your downy mildews, which you can see in the forests around here as well. Uh, I don't see many slime molds, but that's not to say they're not out there. Uh, so starting off with slime molds, slime molds do kind of like ooze along the floor, uh, meaning they can actually move, uh, unlike other fungus um, they don't normally have ways of moving, so we do kind of put them in a protists category, but they do um, kind of pseudopod around, very similar to uh, how the uh, amoeba works, um, but it is going to be either unicellular or multicellular. They do come in both, um, but they do tend to have many nuclei as well. So this is your slime mold here. Uh, water molds and downy mildews. Uh, not much else to say about them except they do are these are like your decomposing uh, protists. Um, again, they are going to live in moist areas as well. Uh, these are your water moles over here. These tiny thread-like things growing off of it. Your downy mildew is up here. Uh, the Irish don't like them because this downy mildew um, fungus-like protist. This is actually what caused um, the potato famine back in Ireland back in the day. Uh, so the poor people in Ireland lost all their uh, crop and uh, ways of living because of a downy mildew infestation. Uh, yeah, fungus like protists, there's not much to them. You just know the different types, I guess.